Hi, welcome to Climbing Daily, where today we're talking about two first ascents from a leading American alpinist. It's not been a vintage season so far down in Patagonia, but that hasn't stopped Colin Haley, who's knocked off two peaks from the unclimbed list. He spends several months of every year down in this part of the world, and he's climbed so much there that nearly all his projects now require a three or four day weather window, quite a rare event. Colin commented, So, when there's a 24 hour window of semi good weather, should I head to something which I've already climbed like nine times? Or should I head to peaks I've never climbed on, which are wild and largely unexplored? Obviously, put that way, the decision is easy. I very much doubt that's how Colin talks, but a nice effort and American accent from our producer. First up was Aguka Valonki, which he climbed with his girlfriend. It had previously been attempted in 1976 by Britain's Rab Carrington and Al Rouse, and they only stopped a body length below the summit due to an unstable mushroom. But this is the first proper ascent of the peak. Next was Cerro Massoni Central, which he climbed with Rolando Garibotti. This peak had only ever been attempted once before, so this is a pretty good effort. The grades for these routes aren't particularly difficult, so these aren't revolutionary ascents by any means, but it just goes to show you what a bit of motivation and local knowledge can do for you. Check out this amazing video from Patagonia tracing Colin's journey from Cascade climber to world-class alpinist. Three years ago, Colin Haley exploded on the alpine climbing scene. It was like he came out of nowhere. It seemed like every three months there was a new article about him in the magazines and always the question was clear. How does a 22-year-old college student enter the elite ranks of albums? I mean, it seemed like one week this guy was turning in the term paper and the next week sending Sarah Torre. Was his risk tolerance off the charts? Maybe he was just lucky. I see a lot of people who are really good climbers and they're on an alpine route and even if they're acing the route finding, the climbing's easy for them, everything should be going fine. They falter simply because they constantly feel, you know, not at ease and worried and nervous um, because they're out of their element. You know, easy routes, hard routes, whatever, I feel at ease in the mountain. When climbing in a super alpine environment under the most extreme conditions, I trust Patagonia clothing to keep me warm and dry. In the last decade, there may have been alpinists who have climbed harder, but it's arguable that no American has climbed more big alpine routes than Colin. He's done it in Alaska, in Patagonia, in Chamonix, the Himalaya, but it all began right back here in the Cascades. Colin's only a young guy, but he's already one of the best alpinists in the world. We're going to be talking to him in the spring, and we will be asking for your questions a bit nearer the time. See you next week when we will have a report from the Candlestick Ice Climbing Festival. With the protection pre-placed, it's uh, like an 8B sport route with a 7C or 7C plus boulder bum at the top.